Are you living with someone that's a compulsive liar? Are you living with a narcissist or a toxic person that is basically lying to you all the time and you catch them in these lies and there are so many lies that you don't even know what the truth is anymore because everything they say is a lie? Let's talk about compulsive lying, narcissism, and how it affects you. I'm Lise Colucci. I am a life coach here to help you with understanding and getting through and recovering from, healing from toxic relationships in your life. So hit thumbs up, hit subscribe. Let's talk about the compulsive liar. Okay, so basically narcissists are continually living lies, right? Because their whole life is a lie because they live in a delusional state where they are presenting to the world and to you and your relationship with them, a person who is not who they really are. You're, they're presenting themselves to be what they need you to believe they are in order for them to be perceived a certain way, get the certain attention, be the person they think they are or they wish they were or they want to be or they want the world to think they are, right? Okay, so they're already living a lie. But when it gets deeper, when toxic people start having double lives, triple lives, have a different life for everyone they encounter, I don't know if you've experienced this. I have experienced this. I think it is so deceptive and so confusing and conflicting to understand and to heal from because it's really hard to stop trying to reveal the truth. It's really hard once you see it to stop and say, okay, I recognize the myriad of lies that that person has lived. And okay, that's who they were. They were a liar. And so therefore nothing that they say matters. Nothing that they presented to you is a truth because how do you know what is and what isn't and does it matter anyway? But to get to that place, wow, we have to really separate from the relationship we had with them and we have to really see that, yeah, we were lied to. There was a deception that may have happened to you and you deserved honesty. You met that relationship in an honest way and this person wasn't honest. So a lot of times narcissists will have, or psychopaths or sociopaths, right? They will have a different story for every person. They will put on a mask for each person that they meet. They will go through life, every situation, knowing how to read that room in a split second and present the person that they think suits the occasion for them to get the supply that they need in their life and for them to maintain friends and relations and everyone around them thinking that they are that thing. But here's the thing, they can't let those lives cross. So when you're with someone like this, you may notice that you don't actually have access to the other people in their life, or you have very controlled access, very controlled relationships by that toxic person to the other people in their life. So you may have a wife or a husband who is a compulsive liar or a friend or a boss or a coworker, whatever, a family member. And they may let you have glimpses of the other people in their lives and the other situations in their lives, but they don't let you communicate and they certainly don't want you to be friends. So they will tell you one thing about that person and that person one thing about you to keep you separate, to keep you not liking each other, to keep you competitive with each other or distant from each other so that you don't find out the truth, that they're one thing for that person and something else for someone else. Now, is this how everyone is? Is everyone this way? Does everyone present themselves to be one thing to one person and one thing to another in order to fit in? That much. Okay, guys, everybody does it that much. What I'm talking about here is extremes. Somebody that will tell you anything you need to hear for you to fall for it and take the bait and become part of their circle, to have everybody orbiting around them. OK, they become, you know, the sun that everyone orbits around and that's what they need in their life. They need the supply. And so they're going out there and they're making up stories to suit each occasion. Now, here's the thing. If you're the husband or the wife or the best friend or the daughter or the mother, right, if you are someone close to that person, you're seeing multiple truths happening but you can't quite put your finger on it because they're not giving you access. They're not letting you see it. And it's not until the truths start being revealed that you're able to 
experience what truth really is and then it blindsides you and it blows you away because you're like well was it true with me probably not it was probably all a lie with me as well and here's another thing say you have a narcissist in your life and you are not ready to leave or you're unable to leave or you for some reason have to maintain the contact with them or wish to maintain the contact with them and you are aware of their lying tendencies and you are aware of them being compulsively untrue to other people and yourself. But you have to hold those lies for them, because when you call them on the lie, they deny it, they gaslight you, they word salad you, they call you the narcissist, they say you don't have empathy, they say they play the victim, okay, they're not going to allow that lies to not be their reality, they are lost in a delusion that that is their reality, or they're purposely doing this to take supply. So you, as the survivor who is now having to be an enabler of this just because you are in their presence, just because they may stay in your life. You're having to hold the burden of their lies. You're having to hold the burden of everything they do to people, every lie they tell another person, every, every, all of it. You're being responsible for their problems because they can't take accountability for their own and you are unable to get away from it. This is so painful. It'll drive a person crazy because you're carrying the guilt of the lies, you're carrying the burden of the lies, you know the truth and you want to expose it. But if you expose the truth, no one in the world is going to believe you, not one person, because that narcissist will smear you if they haven't already started smearing you, they probably already have, in other circles, right? This is such a web of deception that I, sane and healthy people I can't make sense of it. How could you make sense of it? How can you be in this and feel okay about yourself or about the situation and how can you carry the burden of someone else's lie and not feel something you can't that's what they want they want you the narcissist wants you to process all the bad stuff for them so they can walk away scot-free and not have to deal with it and not have to face it because then that'd be taking accountability and they do not have the emotional intelligence to take accountability emotional intelligence requires being aware of oneself, being aware of one's actions, taking accountability through making changes to change those actions and some form of making amends for what you've done. There's a whole lot that goes into that that a narcissist will never be. So if you are in a relationship or know of a narcissist or a toxic person of any kind who is full of lies and full of deception, and if you're carrying that burden, do your best to separate from that. Okay, watch my video from a couple days ago. I think it was a live stream about it. I will link it in here right at the end and see if any of that helps you separate yourself from the narcissistic person. Carrying the burden of a person who's stuck, carrying the burden of a person who lies means your energy, your focus in life has a little diversion that goes toward that all the time. And it is wearing on you probably, and it is burdensome and it's not yours in the first place. So we'll talk more about that. If you need help or coaching or group coaching, please check out the info in the description of every video. You can email me there as well. You can uh, find peer support there as well. And if you need it, please get it. Please reach out. I will talk to you guys next time. Hit the thumbs up again. Hit subscribe and take care. Bye-bye.